move over Taylor Swift and Travis, Travis Kelsey because internet now has a new favorite couple, a rather unlikely one, President Emmanuel Macron of France and President Lula da Silva of Brazil. Don't believe us? See for yourself. Taylor and Travis could never. And as you would expect, the internet is loving it. Some users are asking the obvious question, was this a diplomatic trip or a pre-wedding photo shoot? Well, President Macron has the answer. It looks like he's seen all the chatter on social media, so he decided to jump in. Macron says it was a wedding. He says France loves Brazil and Brazil loves France. Now we could focus on the news here like why Macron was in Brazil, what deals did he sign, and what is at stake here, but where's the fun in that? You have two world leaders skipping through the jungles of the Amazon, and they give you pictures like this, on a boat, holding hands, staring at the forest canopy, holding hands, and for some reason running away together, again holding hands. It's criminal not to see these pictures and make memes, or to see these pictures and not make memes, so that's what the internet did. Here's that picture of Macron and Lula skipping away. Except the background is different. The Amazon is gone, the forest. Instead, it's the poster of Hollywood musical La La Land. Macron himself retweeted it. Another user added some more love to the pictures. They put heart-shaped balloons in the background. It looks like Macron and Lula are releasing them together. Then you had more movie inspiration, Macron and Lula on one side, Bella and Edward from Twilight on the other. I must say the resemblance is great. Such bromances have become a part of modern day diplomacy. Like any bromance, there are many levels. Some get up close and personal, like Macron and Lula here. Others like their own space, like Putin and Xi Jinping. So let's look at some of the more famous bromances in diplomacy. Indian Prime Minister Modi is also quite good at it. You may remember his day out at the beach with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. That was peak bromance. Modi and Macron also have great chemistry. They've met multiple times in the last few years, but one meeting stands out. The one in July last year, Modi was guest of honor for France's National Day. He was seen enjoying the fireworks show with Macron. Again, peak bromance. Another popular bro was Barack Obama, the former American president. He had a transatlantic bromance with his British counterpart, former Prime Minister David Cameron. They had a lot of outings together, flipping burgers, playing table tennis, watching basketball and eating hot dogs. People thought, wow, they must love each other. But later accounts tell a different story. A Cameron aide said the Prime Minister couldn't stand Obama. He thought he was a narcissist. Even some strongman politicians have dabbled in bromance, like Xi Jinping and Putin. She once called Putin his best, most intimate friend. They've also exchanged gifts. Once both men were together for Xi Jinping's birthday, Putin gifted the Chinese president a box of ice cream. Like I said, a different type of romance. Neither Putin nor Xi are huggers. They show warmth from a distance. The question is, what should we make of these bromances? They're important, but not too important. Just look at Biden and Netanyahu. Forget bromance, they hate each other. But when it counted, Biden stood by Israel. Because bilateral relations go beyond personal equations. There are bigger factors at play. Having said that, these equations do help sometimes, like during tough negotiations. If you're comfortable with your counterpart, things become easier. 
But let's put politics aside for a bit. Even otherwise, such bromances are important. They send a nice message on bonding. It's something we do not see among politicians very often. There's a perception that you have to exude strength, have the firm handshake, and detach yourself emotionally. But these leaders have shown that is not necessary. You can hold hands, you can watch fireworks together, flip burgers, or play some sports. Who cares if it looks like a pre-wedding shoot?